Welcome to episode 108 of my Let's Play of Fallout New Vegas. On our last episode, we let Mr. House rest after centuries of work. Basically, uh, we told him that he was not going to be in control anymore, and he begged for death. We gave him death, and we got bad karma for it. I would think leaving someone in a torturous state of existence forever with absolutely no control over anything would be worse than death, but apparently the game doesn't, so there's a gray area there. We picked up a lucky 38 key card at uh, Camp Golf. No idea why it's here, and as far as quests go, we've got nothing left really other than DLC. I have no idea what to do now. All I know is that before we went into the Lucky 38 and cleared the place, Yes Man said come and talk to us once uh, once Mr. House is out of the picture. So that's my last lead. Uh, I don't really know how to progress the game other than talking to Yes Man. So I think that's where we're going to go. And if he gives us the option of anything, I think I'm going to side with the NCR. Maybe they're awful? They've been doing a pretty good job of hiding it so far. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, head into the other part of the strip and see if I can find Yes Man outside of the tops. There's Yes Man. Hello, sir. Well, Mr. House is out of the picture already. You already took care of Mr. House? Wow, you work fast. I'm ready for you to join me at the Lucky 38. If Mr. House is out of the picture and you have the platinum chip, wonderful. Let's go. I will follow you, sir. Meet Yes Man at the Lucky 38. Surprised this wasn't on my quest list. Whoa, he just disappeared. Don't know what the deal with that was. Guess we'll step inside. I guess it's giving us an active quest now. Yeah, there we go. Yes, man? Guess we're going to the penthouse? Where Boone can't go with me. He has to wait, I guess. Oh yeah, I remember Mr. House saying that, that only I was allowed up there. Now, am I going to be betrayed by him? I can't move. Wow. Mr. House had quite a setup here. I can access his databanks and view telemetry on every Securitron on the network. Wait. That's what the platinum chip does. Interesting. Mr. House had a whole demonstration planned for you. Just head downstairs to the lowest level to check it out. You'll see. I'm a little afraid. Guess we're going down into uh, Mr. House's bunker. No? There's a new lowest level. Right deadly against our target immediate range. 
That looks like fun. And for close range suppression and crowd control, we have the enhancing dance of nine million something you got nine. All of this is old hat, right? Here is where it gets interesting. Turns out that those are our secondary weapons. All this time we've been running the Mark I operating system, which doesn't have drivers for our primary weapons. Imagine! Now watch this. I'm downloading the Mark II OS to all Securitrons on the network. It makes quite a difference. With the M235 missile launcher, we can engage a red and a rapid fire deadly in close range engagements. Woo! Look at that! The OS upgrade also includes drivers for our onboard auto repair systems. Just try to hurt us now! All together, this software upgrade confers a 235% increase in combat effectiveness per unit. New Vegas finally has soldiers worthy of protecting it. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. You can come back up and see me or be on your way. I know you're a busy person. I should have picked up that SMG. Well, now then. You did a super job wrapping things up. And I'm not just saying that because I have to. Here's some big news. I decoded a military radio transmission. And it turns out the MCR president, Aaron Kimball, is going to visit Hoover Dam. I guess he wants to boost the trip's morale. But according to projections Mr. House made, he has an 83.75% chance of being assassinated. Oops. Anyway, it looks like Mr. House thought it was important to keep President Kimball alive. I'm on good terms with the NCR. They'll let me help protect him. Gray, a ranger named Graham, has been placed in charge of security for the president's visit. You'll want to talk to him. Once the president is safe, there's one more thing for you to take care of. This gadget I'm handing you is called an override module. Mr. House had two of these made years and years ago. Just like him to think ahead. Take the module to the El Dorado substation and attach it to the power control terminal. I'll handle the rest. What will the override module let you do? I'll use the substation to send a huge jolt of electricity to the Lucky 38. Turns out this casino has its own reactor. All it needs is a jump start. With the reactor running at full tilt, I can boost the transmission strength of the Lucky 38's command and control network. I'm talking direct tactical control of dozens of Securitrons at vast distances. That might come in handy. It's probably a good thing that you blew up those hundreds of Securitrons over at the port. Controlling hundreds might have been confusing. Okay. I'll get it done. Great. When this is taken care of, we'll be all set for the Legion to make its move. Wait, what? Okay, I better be protecting against the Legion. Better be. I am so confused as to what's going on. I need to go get Boone up at the presidential lounge. Oh, he's down here. Okay. Follow me. I've got your back. Well, he hasn't upgraded these ones yet. Please open oh, I guess he has. Secure on Mark II. 
Now they look like commando faces instead of policeman faces. So, yeah, I... Report to Ranger Grant, I think, is what we need to do. Before powering up the El Dorado substation. Alright, so... There's Hoover Dam. I think that's where we need to go, is Hoover Dam. So I guess we're going to Boulder City now? And heading west from Boulder City. Got my Goss rifle. What is that? It's kind of ominous. I don't remember seeing crows in this game before. I want to head inside the Big Horner Saloon here. I don't remember... I thought I remember talking to a guy in here who told me something or other a long time ago. You guess those cons got what was coming to them, huh? Guess that's it. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Come back real soon. Got some uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla to heal up. I probably should have uh, dropped off some of those scrap electronics and scrap metal while I was there. But yeah, let's head uh, west now. Head to Hoover Dam. Protect President Kimball. Hopefully the NCR doesn't... Uh, isn't mad at me for uh, working with Yes Man. I'm starting to regret working with Yes Man. It's already creeping me out. Walking into a bit of a dust storm here. How do I get to Hoover Dam? Well, I don't head west. Oh, I'm an idiot. I head east. Good thing I checked where I was going first. Although now I don't know how to get over there. I see water that way. Let's head north. Eighty-three percent chance of President Kimball being assassinated. That's not very good. I mean, it's a good chance of him being assassinated, but it's not... not good for us. I don't even know how to classify how my character is playing right now. I don't really know what I even want. I'm not out for vengeance, because I let Benny live. I'm not out for control. I'm just trying to maintain stability. Trying to provide a better life for people. It does not look like that is the way I need to go to get to Hoover Dam. Although maybe I need to swim there. I honestly couldn't tell you.
So lake lurks don't like the Gauss cannon. Is there a boat over there? Uh, busted up car. Well, maybe we can swim there. I think I'm going to equip the rebreather. It will not let me jump over this fence. So no, I made the wrong call going north. Can I go up this little ledge right here? I cannot go up this ledge. Looks like we're fast traveling back and going south. Southeast out of Boulder City. Unless there's a way up through over this ridge that I don't see. Nope, can't climb the ridge. Will not let me go further. Even though this looks very climbable, it's an invisible wall there, but this seems to be going in the right direction. Some bombed out buildings down that way and some tents. I think we found an NCR post. Ranger Station Delta. Wake up, Sheffer. I'm not supposed to let civilians just walk around this place. There better be a good reason for you being here. What do you do here? I'm in charge of the radio, hence the title Calm Officer. I'd much rather be out on patrol, since nothing much happens around here. I'd like to know more about the Rangers. Well, when there's trouble regular NCR troops can't handle, they send in a Ranger. Problem solved. We're also responsible for keeping the borders of the NCR secure, scouting out threats, that sort of thing. All right. All right, doesn't seem like there's much here. Let's see if we can make it to the dam going this way. Yeah, it looks like north of us is where we need to go. Hoover Dam, big sign. There it is. We're on the right side of the dam this time.
Let's just explore for a minute before heading inside. We've discovered Hoover Dam. Visitor Center. Got some people over here. Who's this? Engineer. Engineer taking a break. Hey. Hoover Dam Tower. More engineers. What's out here? Intake Tower 01. Looks like we booted the Legion out of Nelson. About damn time. Patrolling the Mojave always makes it look good. Can't go through that door. That leads to the Legion territory, I'm guessing. But yeah, that's that. We are here atop Hoover Dam. You can see. New Vegas Strip in the far distance that way. We'll check out Hoover Dam in our next episode and try to protect President Kimball from being assassinated. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next time.